and millions of Americans will likely face another dangerously dry summer. According to a report from the National Weather Service this month, the mega drought that has affected western states for more than two decades will get worse in the coming months. It will also affect a larger area, almost two-thirds of the continental United States. The conditions are heightening fire risks and crippling water supplies. Researchers say the mega drought is the worst the region has seen in the last 1,200 years. For more on this, I want to bring in Benjamin Cook. He is a climate scientist at the NASA Goddard Institute for Space Studies. Benjamin, how bad could this drought conditions get this summer? Yeah, probably not as bad as last year, but you know we're coming up at the tail end of the cold season, which is when most of the mo most of the moisture comes into the region. And so, you know, very quickly, I think over the next few months, we're going to start to see the current drought conditions probably expand and probably intensify across most of Western North America. And so, you know, that means we're very likely looking at another summer with some pretty severe, significant drought conditions, impacts on ecosystems and water resources, and potentially very, very high fire risk in many areas. And so what are you seeing as the most immediate concerns for this year? Uh, a, a few things. Uh, water resources, Lake Powell and Lake Bee, the two most important water reservoirs in the western U.S., are at uh, near record lows. Uh, wildfire is likely to be a very big issue uh, in, in much of the region. Um, and, you know, all these things are going to have impacts on, on people and on agriculture and, you know, on the national parks in the area. So, you know, the drought, you know, drought itself is a really, you know, big phenomenon and it affects all, and really touches on a lot of different things. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, it's going to be a, probably a very hard, uh, hard summer season. Yeah, and back, Benjamin, back in October, California broke historic rainfall records. The weather caused floods, mudslides. What will that do to the ecosystem? Yeah, so, you know, early in the cold season, that definitely provided some pretty significant uh, drought relief across the region, um, you know, which gave us some reason for optimism this year. Uh, but after those really, really big storms early on, we've seen an exceptionally dry January, February, and even March. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, because there's so much of the water deficit to make up, even those really big storms were not enough to completely erase things. Um, and so, you know, they provided some temporary relief and some abatement, but, you know, it's we're still looking at some pretty bad drought conditions. And if you can explain to us what's causing the mega drought. Yeah, well, we're looking at an event that's uh, the intersection of just natural climate variability, natural variations in the, in the, in the Earth's climate system and climate change. Um, you know, our, our work has shown that, that climate change has turned what would have otherwise been a significant but more moderate drought into one of the most widespread and severe droughts of the last 1,200 years. And so it's the, the kind of combination of the two and, and, you know, really evidence that the impacts of climate change are, are not a kind of theoretical future, uh, but are already hitting us uh, today. Happening now. So then uh, in the long term, how can Western states like California and Arizona support tens and mil of millions of people and agriculture? Uh, I think we have to plan for these sorts of events. I mean, this is largely unprecedented, you know, certainly over the last century when we've seen so much development over the Western United States. But, you know, this, these sorts of events are going to be much more common. The recovery times between events are likely to be shorter. And so, you know, what we really need to do is start preparing for a future that means a lot less water available uh, across the Western United States. Benjamin Cook, thank you very much. Thank you.